Hey guys, what's up? So this is my hexa leaf setup, which is basically a DIY nano leaf made by combining six of these PCBs together in an hexagon shape. The star of this project is this nano leaf PCB, which I made in such a way that it has a VCC D in and ground pad on one end and VCC D out and ground on other end. When a signal start from this PCB, the signal get transferred from the first PCB to the second PCB through the D in and D out pads soldered together. And this process goes on and on. And by this we can prepare this setup in many shapes like a triangle, a square and hexagon etc. You can check out my previous video about the nano leaf setup which I made in a triangular shape. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. So we are gonna need following things for this project, which are WS2812B RGB LEDs, custom PCB, which was provided by JLC PCB, 80Tiny85, an Arduino as ISCP programmer, which would be this, soldering paste, and an SMT hot plate, which is this. The assembly process is pretty simple. We just need to solder WS2812B LEDs on the PCB and for that we gonna need this. An SMT reflow hot plate which I made from the cloth iron element. Now the SMT soldering process is a bit different than a regular soldering process. In this we need to add solder paste to the pad of each component first. The solder paste is basically a mixture of solid miniature solder balls combined with flux to make paste like septants. So we need to apply the solder paste on the component pad and place the components on it one by one. After that we just need to place the PCB on a preheated hot plate. The hot plate temperature gradually increases up to 250 degrees celsius which is enough to melt the solder paste. And after few minutes, we need to remove the PCBs from hot plate and cool it down. We need to prepare six of these PCBs for this build. Now, in order to solder this setup, I made this jig, which hold two PCBs together at an angle of 120 degrees. After putting all the PCBs together, we need to solder all of these, like this.
Now we're gonna need to flash the code to this hexa leaf setup and for that we're gonna need an Arduino as ISP programmer setup which I made especially for programming ATtiny85. We need to connect its SPI pins with the SPI pin of ATtiny85 which are MISO, MOSI, SCK, RESET, VCC and GROUND. The code is basically the rainbow sketch and the D in of first pixel is connected with the ATtiny DO pin. Here's the schematic. If you want to learn more about the ATtiny programming part, you can check out my previous video or post about it. Link is in video description. Okay, so here's the result. A DIY hexagon nano leaf made completely from PCBs. Now we can power this setup with an USB port or use a small lipo cell. We can hang it somewhere or just put it on our table. Or even wear it like a crown or some kind of ornament. It worked for me though. This setup is pretty easy to make only if you know how to do SMT reflow and have basic knowledge of working with custom microcontroller based circuit. Also this project is not exactly community friendly as most of these parts are hard to get. In India we cannot just buy WS2812B LEDs from Amazon, we have to order them from China. The code, schematic and other stuff related to this project can be found on this project's hackster page, link is in video description. So you guys can leave a like if this video was helpful or hit that subscribe button and I'll be back.